Welcome back to Pissed. I hope none of you have gotten too pissed that I'm playing a parody of Mist. I'm currently getting licked by my kitty cat, and it's driving me nuts because she wants wet food, and she's not getting any. So I hope you've enjoyed Now she's biting because she's not getting it. It's like she knows. So I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Pissed. I sure did. Yeah, it's kind of, it's cheesy in some places, but it's still funny. I mean, if you're from the era, I guess if you're some kid, it's going to be stupid. But I grew up with Mist, so. Shelly Postano, 21,006 Grand Mall Parkway, Looney Tunes, Maryland. <laughs> Shelly, 2100 leagues under the sea. guys nuts or completely what? The king can't make up what's left of his mind, and his sons, the princes, well, one is afraid of my germs, and the other one wants to get into my jeans. Furthermore, nothing on the island matches my nail polish. I can't wait to get back to work. Wendy. Isn't that right, darling? <laughs> it's pretty evident that one of them is sex crazy, and one of them is a germaphobe. Stop with my feet, kitty. Somebody has clearly died here. Oh, dear. From the depths of Prince Syrup. Dad's oh. upset because of all the people here. It's not the people. It's their trash and the germs. Everywhere I look, there's disease waiting to take me. The people from Octoplex say <laughs> they're going to clean it up, but I can't trust them. I can't watch them all the time. Who knows? They could be working for the germs. That's right, the, the germs. The germs are they are going to get me. Look out for the germs. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Prince Syrup there, he's pretty crazy. Oh. Oh, Auga. Oh, people died there. Leave in January, back in May. Shared. Because <laughs> I guess because we can't I go there. I access to all four ages. I haven't lost a player yet. <laughs> if you've ever played this game, those should make Pretty a lot of sense. Gamers Anonymous. Meeting every night in the tower, if you can find it. I'll touch your dongle. Get all the blue and red pages or your buddy back. Now, how many people even remember those? That's pretty funny right there. But there's definitely people that have died. We could hang ourselves. That would be nice, but we can't. From the throne of King Mattress. To do. Kick out all the riffraff. Close the island. Build a wall. <gasps> build a wall? Kitty. We're gonna build a wall. It's relevant to right now. Ugh, yay. Oh, I just burnt things. There's something in there burning. <laughs> this guy keeps doing the same thing. Okay. Ooh, there's an envelope. Mary at girlschool.com. I don't <laughs> oh, usually Lord. reply to wonderful one-timers like yourself, but your 311 emails told me you need a clarification. Whether you were the little blonde from St. Catherine's, or the brunette from Performing Arts High, or whatever. You have to move on. There are other heroes in other games. The Prince, formerly known as Prince. Oh, Lord, and he even has, like, a Prince sign. Oh, okay, well, somebody clearly has died here. Sucker, I can't open the freaking bookcase. I can't open the freaking door. I gotta get out. No longer a player. Well, yeah, you're, you died. Oh, fart noises. I can do that too. I can do this too. That's an awesome noise right there. There's the book. Oh, that's well, Prince Syrup. So let's uh look down Yale here. Yale Cyber Journeys, 14 Bula Court, New Haven, Connecticut. Dear Yale Cyber Journeys, when you showed us the demo for the tour, it didn't look at all like this. What happened to the haunting, classical, solitary environment? Transfer us to the Castle Wolfenstein tour immediately. John and Mary Denison. I don't think you want to go to the Castle Wolfenstein. Oh, the rocket. What has happened? 
Oh, well, wait a minute. We can't go. We don't want to go here yet. This we haven't done is this. the library, the central edifice on Pist it's Island. It's the library. I could never figure out libraries. They're for books, Bob. Oh, well, somebody must like books a lot at Octoplex because they're completely restoring this place, and that's going to cost a lot of money. Yes, but Octoplex is being helped by the nice lumberjacks at the Clearcut Corporation. I am a lumberjack and I'm okay. Of those messy redwoods. Seen one, you've seen them all. But those lovable axe whackers are donating every tree <laughs> they don't burn what? to refurbish this beautiful building. That's great. Don't get your axe whacked. Okay, now let's move on to the depression that is. You make that noise, you have cold. Oh, thank you, Osnox. I must heat myself. Oh, the claw. Uh, uh. Flortran, get head out of microwave and make dinner. Uh, uh, one more minute. Uh, I will be dinner. Well, whatever that was, I think it died. Yes, clearly things here are in bad shape. This would sink. Can it sink? That would be funny. Captain Hazelwood! What? We're going on the rocks. On the rocks? <gasps> Good. And make the next drinky drinky a little drier. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and all the trash and the shit, it just killed them all. Uh oh. Alive, Lord Vader. Yes. Prepare to There's a real UFO. All the Earth's oxygen. We're all hoping it will cure your asthma, Lord Vader. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's a Star Wars joke. No Run far there. away. It's all soot and rubber. Get me out of there. <laughs> okay. Organ out of order, organ donor needed. Oh, the puns. Whoa! Uh-oh. What have I done? Three breasts! Well, that's about everything here, so let's look at the... Uh... April, 0500 hours, north coast, pissed island. Scurry. I found the aliens. Oddly, they keep trying to talk to my butt. The government knows all about it. Oh, God. <laughs> Folks, this is an X-Files joke. Peasant Corfax, oxygen everywhere. Wear your virus skin. Prepare the clan. Holding single on. Prince Kodax. Look, it's pre-Futurama. Here we are at the rocket ship landing, the location of the greatest mystery on Pist Island. Yeah, it was on this very spot that Octoplex started building their luxury hotel here months ago, but were never able to get it off the ground. That's because a huge alien spaceship appeared every night with their super destructo beam and disintegrated everything on the site. Well, what <laughs> I saw from my trailer was these good old boys from the clear cut camp come over with this honking big truck with a rack of deer lights and rip off all the construction materials. Maybe so, Bob, but it's still a mystery to me. Isn't. <laughs> well, that's dead. Uh, the rocket ship was one of the most annoying parts of the original game for me. It's the Mumbo Jumbotron. Oh, I hope it works. We'll look at all this stuff first. Toast. Time for toast. Do we need TP for a bunghole? Oh. What? I didn't hear that. What? Okay. We're making some interesting noises here. This is Milcom Bosky, the pissed money man, <laughs> with a super tip for all the island visitors. Here's Bosky's 10 magic words guaranteed to bring you success in life. Ready? Here they come. I'm ready. Luck, sex, money, health, secret, Elvis, power, guaranteed private, and special edition. Got it? 
If you want to save anything in life, including yourself, use these 10 honeys and you can't lose. Here's an example. This secret limited collector's special edition of Elvis's pyramid-shaped lucky ankle chains is guaranteed to bring you sex, money, health, and power, and it's yours I would like some sex. May I have one sex? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Can I have two sexes, please? I, I, I just want one sex, even. Can I have a sex? No, oh, no sex. How typical. Hello, players! No! I'm piss consumer watchdog, and I'm rough! On bogus business. Ruff. Nowadays, when you shop, you cannot be too careful when it comes to carefulness. I'm the expert, and even I get taken! Why, just the other day, I picked up this pack of potato chips at the pissed snack shop. Brought it to a party, opened it up, and... Snakes! It doesn't say anything <laughs> yes, on the can joke. about snakes. Hmm? Would you like now, a can of snakes? Let's talk about lampshade. Lampshade on head. Okay. Inhale. <sighs> oh, cigarettes Hold are it. bad. Exhale. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, put them out. <laughs> okay. This is Coach Peck Buffer. People walking around this Coach island what? come up to me and say, "Hey, keeping in shape like you, it just seems like so much work." It is. But today we're going to learn how to eat wrong while looking right. Sounds hard? Okay. It isn't. Let's say one of your tofu eating, crystal wearing so-called friends Those takes people you to a go to hell. Food restaurant where the only thing on the menu oh, is Seriously, I love all of you. No sweat. Just carry along one of these. Liquid meat A fresh vagina, vagina cleaner. Oh wait, that's not what that is. Puree. Tell him it's spinach and celery juice cocktail. Tell him anything. As long as you make a face while you're drinking it. This is where I keep my vodka. Those new age losers will never notice. This is Those Coach new age Buffer. losers, huh? Stick with me and you'll gain without pain. Just what I always wanted. Okay, we're back to him. Oh, he's got his lampshade. Hi, Max Midas here, Oops. and we close the clock on the marker switches. Boy, they sure went fast. Well, here comes a product that's really gonna fly. So get your pissed money, your disasters ready. Because for the first time on the Pissed Shopping Channel, we're offering the original pillars from the Pillar Garden. You can see one take 12. me all wrapped up and ready to mail. Oh, how envious your friends are going to be when they see one of these beauties in your living room or on your front lawn. So order now using the number. I want two in my front yard. And tell them Max sent you. We're back on Gender Nation. Oh, Lord. I'm here with Princess Grail. She's from the band Gallows. And she, along with Maiden Fur and Poss, are both going to be playing at the pissed post-punk raid. Mm. Princess, what's got you down? Look, it's not like I hate everybody who is over 25. But I just think, you know, it would be so cool if we had this place where our music was the main music, our books. Look, it's millennials. Books, where we made the rules and didn't have to follow them. Oh, like a mall. <laughs> yeah, like a mall. Bernie Sanders supporters. Oh. Yeah, uh, well, we already got a lot of malls. Exactly. Another problem solved. That is what our band is about. Solving problems. <laughs> Solidarity. Okay, well, um, Princess, why don't you tell us about your new video? Oh, yes. Well, we are putting 400 pounds of raw meat into the library. Wow. Ew. It's working. I hacked the pissed cable system. I'm controlling the transmission. Me, Hacker X. Oh, it took me five days without sleep, and I burned through three 166 megahertz processors, four 288 modems, and lot? two monitors, but I'm here. I'm here to tell you a very important message. So what? shut up and listen. Okay. This is for everyone. It's, uh... What? It's, uh... Tell me. About taking a stand, or... Yeah? Or liberty, or rights, or it's... It, uh, it's it's okay. I'm posted somewhere here. Uh, oh, oh Jesus, Hacker X! Way to go! This is Mel Kambaski, the pissed money man, with a super tip for all the island visitors. 
Here's Bosky's 10 magic words guaranteed. Okay, we've already seen that one. Hello. Okay. okay. Want to get back to the uh oh. See? It won't come off. <laughs> okay, that was funny. That just made me laugh. Hi Hacker X. Okay, let's get the uh Okay. Second one of him here. Get rich idea number seven from your pissed money man, Milk Kamboski. Turn your home phone into a 900 number and make money okay. every time someone calls you. <laughs> Nine, <laughs> one 900 sex chat. The Latchmore collection of classic cyber art, Millville, New Jersey. Dear Mr. Lachmore, oh God, it's Igor. Indiana's whip got caught in the rocket ship door, and the whole team got drowned. I did what you wanted and dug up a pillar, but I ain't got postage. What do you want me to do, boss? Igor! <laughs> Is it like T-Plane? The screen saver church. Dig me. I'm oh, Lord. Friends in faith. Twelve of us from the congregation came down for salvation at the fountain, but we haven't been saved yet. Pastor Rod Blatch. Okay, we're not going to move on past the TV garden Here today, we but we're going to listen to this. Garden, once the most classically beautiful location on the island. It now serves as a test site for the pissed mumbo jumbo TV network. Yeah, look at that swell TV. You can't miss it, Bob. Actually, the idea that I dropped in the Octoplex suggestion box was to transform this place into a meditation garden. Come on, Cheryl, get over it. You know, Looks the like the after of Woodstock to me. Has over 2,000 channels? Really, Bob? What can you put on 2,000 channels? How about giant tractor pulls and funny a lot of porn. any time of the day and 500 channels of bass fishing, just to name a few? Oh, that is nice. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what's going to be next. Oh, case of emergency, emergency, get, get religion. Oh, rads. Okay, well, they're radical, I guess, because they're, okay. Uncle Bob, 148 Retrofit Walkway. Uncle Bob. Gunsight, Idaho. Dear Uncle, amazing things happen here. When the reactor core melted, people were running everywhere, and I discovered a twin brother I never knew I had. We talked all night. The only downside is that he's growing out of my sternum. Love, Billy, and little Brad. That's a concern. You should have lots of concern over that issue that you're currently having. But we don't want someone coming out of your sternum. The Russian Heavy Physics Institute, Secret Science the City, Russian. former USSR. Dear Professor Stoyagi, you will be pleased to see that the last of your children, the Chernobyl 1000R, is still running. Your former colleague, <coughs> who is dying, <coughs> Sergei Raskolnikov. A Russian joke. That's actually current again, sadly. Not a whole lot we can click in the back. Not a lot to click. Real Ooh, a button. Oh, uh. Uh-oh, you opened the breeder reactor, didn't you? <laughs> you know what they're breeding in there? More of us. Hi, Ernie. Maybe they got it right this time. Maybe Ernie's got three heads and smarts, not like you two numbskulls. Who's he calling a numbskull? Beats me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So it is 45. It's going to be the same thing. It is. Uh-oh. Nope, that's probably bad. Oh, 78. We're gonna die. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that was disappointing. Baby. It's a regular sauna in here. <laughs> All those hot rods make my coat nice and shiny. What are you talking about? My coat. It's our coat. Yeah. Get a half-life, dumbbells. Yeah. They act like like the Lion King hyenas, which kind of drives me nuts. Thirty three and a third. Hi, uh, Naked Gun reference. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen gonna come out with two heads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of atomic sunsets with my dear mother. 
It's enough to make a mutant rat cry. <laughs> and it looks like one last thing. Is that a quirk? Yes. Careful! That's nuclear booze! <laughs> I wouldn't drink it! Shut up, both of yous. A radioactive martini never hurt nobody! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Here we are in the Chernobyl room, a gift to Pist, as the sign reads over the door, from the former peoples of formerly evil former Soviet Empire. Isn't that swell? I'm not going to have the time to find out, Bob. My radiation badge is already beginning to bubble. Oh, lighten up, Cheryl. Stick around. It's a great tan. Cheryl? Cheryl! Oh, she's dead. So let's move on. Pistapult. Big Ben buys three tries. Oh, because this was a pretty... I remember being really frustrated at this part as a kid. Like, just not liking this at all. Oh. I don't remember that being there. These things drove me nuts. And set me to... to what's it say? I can't even say it. 320. Uh, it's gone. Uh oh. There's a lot of death and like sinking destruction in this part. Oh, though they're dead. <laughs> they're all gone. Can we use the pistol pult? There is a body in there. And they're dead. Lots of people dying in the in this one. See, look, there's a body in there, screaming. More and dead. Hooray! Mrs. Sandy Bolivall, 37 Chicken Little Highway, Rock Bottom, Arkansas. Mom, I've gone six times on the catapult, and I'm really getting some extreme rides. Please send me another hundred dollars, John. <laughs> Why is everybody from like Arkansas? In the South. Honey's mom, Alamo Garden Apartments, number fifteen, San Paludo, Texas. Dear Honey's mom, sorry I can't remember your name. Where's Honey? I'm sure she's with you or somebody not half as good as me. I've given up. I'm launching myself into another world. Charles. I don't think you're launching yourself anywhere except to being dead. Because everything has died here. What you're looking at is the future site of the Octoplex Seaside Beach with one little difference. What's that? No sea. Wait a minute. No water? Octoplex's researchers discovered that people who go to the beach love the sand and the sun, but they don't like the water. By draining the ocean, we'll be providing more sand and more sun. What happens when you want to cool off? Not to worry, Bob. Octoplex dirigibles will fly by on an hourly basis and mist everyone. Wow. Oh, they think of everything. Well, time to move on. Lots of dead people, but we're okay. Uh oh. Uh. Love cabin. And very. Well, they intentionally thinned you down a little bit there, uh. John, I don't know what to think about what's happening here. It's an upper, a fixer upper. Piss log cabin. Live in this single with hot tub or timeshare with four million visitors. Rustic charm with indoor outdoor local flora. All offers considered. Elaine Stickler, Pissed Real Estate. I don't think I want to live with the king of pissed. One minute. Leisure Suit Larry doesn't landing. approve. 27 Locks Puke Landing, Sensimia, California. Forget about this place as a location for my total zen on a minute a day. If I wasn't a master, I'd be kicking somebody's ass by now. Master Baker. Okay. Ah, that's much better. 
Oh, no. You know, it's very stressful being the king of pain. No, the king of the game. Yes, I am the king of the game. And I have many secrets. For instance, I could show you a whole other side of Pissed Island that you've never experienced. Yes, no. Yes, you haven't. And you won't, because I'm saving it for the sequel. Aren't hot tubs wonderful? I can sit here and enjoy the fact that you'll be leaving soon. No, no. Very soon. No, no. Now. Bye. <sighs> what just happened? This is very scary. They could have at least put him back into the other position. Look at Not that game. lucky dude. We're lucky too, Bob. We learned a lot about Pissed Island and a lot about Octoplex. And a little about each other, Cheryl. I uh, got you a little gift. What is it? It's a driftwood sculpture I found by the clock tower. Doesn't it look like the two of us on the back of a three-legged giraffe? Huh? Uh, turn it this way, see? Oh, yes, gee. <laughs> I feel awkward, Bob. I didn't get you anything. That's all right. I'm losing my trailer, and it'll be less things to pack. Uh, well, we've got to go now and get ready to take another player on the tour. And remember that getting pissed is only a click away. Say goodbye, Bob. Goodbye, Bob. Oh, goodbye, everybody. Oh, boy. Can you do anything different? So is that it? I don't remember. Hit you. One minute. Have we done that? Yeah, we can go back to the pistol pole. just end? I mean, when you hit escape, it does the credits. Hello? Look at the king, lucky d Look at the king. Ah, that's all I got there. Boy, they didn't use you very I know John Goodman sings the song about pissed at some point, but I don't know how to make it happen anymore. So, well, let's look at the credits. Or not. Okay. Okay, guys. There is a little bit more we can do. So, let's get some help. It's too late for help. The game's over. If you wanted help, why didn't you ask earlier? People who wait too long to ask for help secretly believe that no one wants to help them. It all goes back to the time when you were five. For real help... How do you know what happened to me when I was five? Shrink wrap. At 900 288 pissed. I'm offended by that. So we have two more things we can do here. We're gonna go ahead and listen to I'm Pissed, which is done by John Goodman. I'm sitting here in my living room and I just can't seem to shake the glue. like me makes me pissed i change the channel switch the switch get the same old stupid pitch switch the channel i'm pissed a bunch of oily superstars trying to sell me shoes and cars whoa i'm pissed maybe my ill mood would improve if i put my gym shoes with a tube like they say just do it Bowling, but I lost my ball. I could hunt pigeons, but I got them all. I might go fishing with the other guys, but the only thing that's biting is the skeeters and the flies. I really hate the place. 
hours I work, the boss is such a total jerk. He gets me pissed. Total jerk. I'm changing tires, pumping gas. The job I got ain't got no class. Uh-uh. Yes. Got no class. But every day I punch a clock and still I'm up to here and high. Some way I can change my luck. Get snatched by aliens in my pickup truck. Uh, hang out with Elvis, talk to JFK. Come back to Earth and do the talk shows every day. Yeah, yeah. Now hold on. Things may not be as bad as they appear. Maybe it's my attitude around being too negative, bumming myself out. After all, I do have 86 channels of TV, three of which work. I have a roof over my head that only leaks when it rains. I've kept an athlete's body, but I've still got an athlete's foot. And i got a girlfriend who appreciates me for what I am. Yeah. Hey. I feel so good. I'm on. Take me a little nap. Hey, your highness, get your robot off that lazy boy and get him here and clean these crawfish before they walk away. But, baby, this is supposed to be my castle. All I get is pain and hassle. And I'm so I'm just in his castle. Yo, baby, you may be the king, but I'm the queen, so dig this thing. Now, woman, don't get on my case. I don't need no one in my face. Disneyland, so so long, Mickey. This TV's been nothing but trouble. Let me help you there. Oh, this is one. Yeah, good friend. Let's go off into the kitchen and clean some ground. <laughs> okay. And one last thing. Actually, it's a pretty funny little song. John Goodman. <clears throat> a lot of people don't like him at Blues Brothers 2000, but... He's continued on doing a lot of Blues Brothers stuff with Dan Aykroyd, so he is a decent singer. So the last thing we're going to do here is The Making of Pissed. That's trouble! Square bomb is getting scored! That's heavy water! <laughs> Whoa! in the interactive media business take themselves and maybe each other a little too seriously. What they really need to do is lighten up and take a visit to Pist Island for a vacation. I want to get one thing straight. It's pronounced Pist. Okay? It's pronounced Pist. Whoa! Pist. P-Y-S-T. It rhymes with heist. I guess you want to know about the technology behind the game? Tell us. You know about iced tea? No. That's our interactive comedy environment technology, something we developed here at Palladium. Here we're basically talking about the Bergman poop factor. I figure that <laughs> in order for us to like really understand that the bird's taking a poop, we have to poop twice. Can you show me what that looks like? Then? Once, and then it'll come again. Oh, yes. People ask, how can I act and direct at the same time? Well, the answer is this character of Peck Buffer, for which I'm dressed right now, it's kind of a loudmouth salesman, and it's kind of the way I direct. I try to get the best out of people by being as flashy and being as Hollywood and being as delightfully obnoxious as I can. And you know it works. It really does. Wearing these dollar sign chains around my neck, it really inspires people, particularly the young people in Hollywood who expect to use this kind of a launching platform to become rich and famous someday. It's real simple ball and a lot of brevity. Ooh, ooh, gravity! <laughs> Quincy Jones uses that word. I just mainly stay in my trailer. I just come when they call me. I need to be out there networking. See, that's what a good agent will do for you. Yeah, he'll get me out of the trailer. That's, that's right. That's right. There's all kinds of good products. I'll find you right there. Could I, could I call your agent? <laughs> So 
what you're, you're saying is that I'm not good enough to be with your age. Oh. That's that's what you're saying. Oh, oh, hey, and I sent a little. I still, I'm no, so no, no, no. Look, I'm, I tell you what, I've got a lot of thinking to do, and I've got to get you ready for my part. Ladies and gentlemen, who has a point perhaps maybe the best orchestra working in the business today, Mr. Fred Newman. Turn your home phone into a 900 number and make money every time someone calls you. Ha <laughs> ha! In acting, you know, you try to create a wall between you and the audience, the viewer. In this case, you have to destroy that wall and be very concerned with the person behind the screen, on the other side of the screen. Why don't you go out and why don't you touch those folks, yeah. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you, get you, get you, get you, go! <laughs> Hi there, I'm the prince. So you like the idea of being a floating head in limbo? I enjoy it because really my body has been my weak spot my whole life and this is a chance for me to really separate myself from my body. Princes can have anything they want, including a good cry. <laughs> oh, I'm so unhappy. I'm so unhappy. I could turn on my big TV, but no one up there looks like me. Oh, it's very stressful being the king of pain. No, the king of the game. Yes, I am the king of the game. And I have many secrets. Get it out of microwave and make dinner. Oh, oh one more minute. I will be dinner. Hello? How primitive were they, Cheryl? Their simple language consisted of a mere seven symbols. Hello, goodbye, tree, bat, very, luck, martini, and death. Wow, we know very little about them. Yes, except for that one haunting sentence they have left behind. Very bad martini death, hello, goodbye. Oh, I've had one of those. Captain Hazelwood, we're going on the rocks. On the rocks? <laughs> Good. And make the next drink a drinky a little drier. Whoa! That's drier, I said! <laughs> Look at the extras. You got your death ray, your tractor beam and operating table, your holding pen for mutilated cattle or abductees. Frankly, I'm worried about getting shot down by the Earthling Air Force and living in a nice box in Ohio. Producing Piss for Parody Interactive has been an awesome experience. We are 14 weeks over schedule. Like they say, just do it. $258,000 over budget. This is where they massage the bill. That's right. Way. Yes, it absolutely is where they make them. They give the bill tone and power and make it grow. That's the bill massaging chair. You see, the original estimate is put in here. And by the time it's been manipulated, it comes out here robust. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you won't be looking at your lovely self in this mirror, will ya? And you won't be needing this hooks and tricks you love, neither. Well, I never did like to set a place from Disneyland, so so long. <laughs> all right guys i hope you've enjoyed this let's play of piss i tried to get as much of it in as i could i thoroughly enjoy this little joke of a game and you can see how clear it was that they gave a ton about it it wasn't just something they threw together for cash there's a lot of effort that went into making this game so on my rating scale I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10 because it's not bad, it's not great, but it's something that I like to come back to every now and then, and it's been thoroughly enjoyed and I have laughed. So I hope you've laughed along with me, and stay tuned for further Let's Plays. And once again, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Goodbye.